Well, that keeps you on the straight and narrow, doesn't it? I hope I, I pray that Mike here and meets a wee girl and studies him down because there's so much temptations out there, you yeah. know. Oh, she keeps you in the weekends anyway. Right, right, <laughs> keeps you locked in. But uh, it's great. You, there's absolutely no doubt about it. You're a marvelous role model. Uh, you're a very uh, affable young lad. Uh, you're very humble. You're very down to earth. Very approachable. Uh, as I say, inspirational. And I mean. All the kids that are out there, it's very, very sad to see. But, I mean, if you put your mind to something, you've been all over the world, you're achieving things, you you, you know, you're a winner. And you can look back with fondness. When you, I, I'm telling you, you can look back, I haven't achieved, I never achieved a, you know, a, a fraction of what you've achieved, but no doubt, I can only imagine that you'll look back when you get to my age, you know, with great, yeah. great fondness. So you can't, does the pro game not appeal to you at all? Well, I, I, I never did it such, but, now up this level, let me games can't go any better than this here. Yeah. But pro. Yeah. But I think you've achieved all your dreams in the amateur game. I'm only only twenty. Like I like stick around for the next next Olympics. Right. And they're in London. Uh, yeah. They'll be selling the medal of news. Are you in love with boxing yourself? Because there's a lot of boxers. They're not in love with you. They couldn't tell you who the world champions are. They wouldn't go out of their way to watch a fight on TV. Well, sometimes uh, it wasn't really about boxing. Sometimes it's boring watching it. it. Depends if there's big names fighting, they will watch it. Right. But um. You sort of fed up with it. I I'm fed up. I, I don't fed up training, but I just love fighting. Just love it. Yes. Tell us. Well, tell us. Give us an insight into what a day would be like down in, in high performance. Well, a busy day with, with training. Oh well, my! My program had to be down there in Dublin Tuesday to Fridays. Right. Down Tuesday, at eleven. Be there for eleven o'clock on the gym floor, and then brings up the a running track. Right. And you do like your your um, sprint sessions and runs around the track. It's tough, and then you go back and stretch. Right. Rest for a few hours. Right. And you stay in the gym itself. And then at about four or five o'clock you come down, do your sparring, your bag work. It's it's tough. It's very, very, hard. very intensive. And you sleep over in the gym, don't you? Yeah. And your uh first for going down, that's sort of paid for now, but for so many years your parents had to had yeah. to pay the first you were how long have you been down to the high performance? Quite a few years. Uh, I'd say about forty weeks out of a year. I uh, uh, for so for so this yeah. last lot of years. It's only it's maybe this last year that you know you're getting your your first paid. Yeah. But your mother and father have had the uh, as me. Even even when going away, my father had to pay for two everywhere. Like yeah. Well, as how been for my family? How about me? Where I'm now? Well, see your mother and father. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, they're marvelous. Uh, uh, what I was going to say, uh, and your dad is, uh, says he's going to remortgage a house to go over to Beijing. Is he joking or uh, how many is going to go over? I don't know. But how many of your family is going to go over to Beijing? Um, everybody except one of one of my brothers, he's going to be there with his mates. <laughs> and my girl's going to. Less. I, I, my girl's going to. Right, wow. So all your family and, and your girl's going, wow, that's yeah. terrific. Paddy, as I say, uh, we're very privileged to have you on here today. You're a very quiet, unassuming lad, very modest, very humble, and very affable. Uh, thanks very much for coming and talking to us today. It's been an absolute pleasure. And when you come back with your medal, irrespective of whether you get a medal or not, we're going to feature you on here, and you can give us a fascinating insight into what goes on behind the scenes. Like. Okay, Paddy, thanks very much. No pleasure. Thank you, now. Thank you. This is Paddy's second fight in the World Senior Championships, and it's against Iran. As you can see straight away, the Iranian is a southpaw. Which means he's left handed and jabs with his right. Southpaws are also from the right hand. As you can see right away, he's looking to land the right hand. This referee here brings back bad memories for me. He refereed my son Kieran's fight in the Commonwealth Games, and TV commentator Jim Neely remarked. He should never referee another boxing contest. Ireland's produced some great wee men down the years. Monaghan, Doran, Warnock, Gilroy, Caldwell, McGuigan, McGuire, Russell, Larmer, McCulloch, Kelly, Spring to Maine. And here's another one who belongs in that company. Just add Barnes to that list. As I said earlier, pa Paddy's improved greatly in the last 18 months, and believe me, I think he has a terrific chance of getting a medal in Beijing. He just gets better and better with every fight, and as I said earlier, he's just hitting his peak years.
once again, Paddy off to a bit of a slow, trepidatious start. But as I say, it just gets stronger and stronger and stronger. Good right hand from Paddy Barnes and left hook. Bit of a scouting mission in that first round there, feeling each other right. Looking for openings. That's Billy Walsh, uh, Ireland's head coach in his corner. Billy, former, I think he was seven or eight times Irish senior champion. One of Ireland's boxing legends. And here we go for round two. Paddy, 16 in front. He's looking to land with that right hand all the time. Right hand through the middle, left hook. It's very effective for South Pose. Amateur boxing now, of course, far removed from the professional game. It's like fencing with gloves now. Very technical, skillful, looking for openings. Oh, oh, good right hand. See, as I say, this is where Paddy really gets motor in here. It just gets stronger and stronger. 11-5 up. Great counter right hand, terrific. And again. And again. Very fast hands, Paddy. Hands will read again. Paddy really starting to pull away now, and this Iranian is in danger of getting stopped on the outscored room. If you fall behind, behind by 20 points, it automatically terminates the contest. And Paddy's very versatile, you know, he's just within two points here of winning on the 20 point rule. One point, one more point. And as well as being a great two-fisted battler, Paddy can also box off the back foot. He's got a great variety. He throws every punch in the book. 27 up then for Paddy Barnes. He's really muttering now. Oh, he's looking to land that right hand now every time. And again. Oh, beautiful. He's within four points to the outscored route. And again. Oh, good left hand from there, Renee. Really 